66% of the United States residents' public water is fluoridated. It is known to have tremendous effects on bone cancer, joint problems, bone weakness, lowered estrogen and testosterone levels, and dental fluorosis, which is yellowing of the teeth and pitting in the enamel. Wouldn't it make more sense to enhance public water with vitamins, which are meant to be ingested, to promote overall health? Rather than putting such a toxic chemical in our water with a bogus explanation that it will improve our dental health. We now know that fluoride causes more dental problems than it solves. Something doesn't seem right about this. Do you honestly believe that these companies care deeply enough for the people to spend large amounts of their own money to fluoridate public water when the people already purchased their own toothpaste? But there's a difference between toothpaste and drinking water. We don't ingest toothpaste. If you go to any hardware store and look at any rat poison product, you will only find one ingredient, sodium fluoride. It is the most toxic ionic molecule outside of potassium dichromate. Now Danon, along with other companies, have begun fluoridating bottled water. It is becoming increasingly difficult to get away from. And the fact that fluoride is also used in many prescription antidepressants shows that it eliminates aggression and motivation in people. Fluoride, to my knowledge as a physician, has absolutely no biological benefit whatsoever. Uh, uh, but one of the significant things is that the, the Russians uh, carried out all sorts of experiments on the uh, people living in the Gulag. One of them, of course, was to fluoridate the water. Why? You fluoridate the water, why people are not uh, as aggressive as they ordinarily would be. In fact, what is the active ingredient in Prozac that is so widely distributed in America today? Well, it's a fluoride compound. And now, we are finding that public water, nationwide, is showing up with arsenic, lead, cadmium, and thermonium, which is a radioactive form of lead. Cancer, lowered sex drive, birth defects, sedation, and brain defects, does this not sound like a wonder drug for anyone aiming to control a population? It's, it's quite astonishing, Paul, uh, the degree to which environmentalists have not been educated about fluoride. You know, people have an unconscious trust in their doctor or their dentist, and if you can persuade doctors and dentists that fluoride is safe and good, then you're, you're, you're uh, able to reach the rest of the nation. People believe they're doctors and dentists, and that was a way of promoting fluoride for Bernays. Fluoride was killing their cattle, destroying their crops. Uh, fluoride given to rats had produced bone cancer and liver cancer, and that those results had been doctored to make it look as though fluoride hadn't caused as much cancer. The pattern that we saw it typically is what we see with other neurotoxic agents that are well known to cause a hypoactivity or uh, a memory problem or an IQ problem. When I first presented the results of these studies, um, one of the uh, individuals sitting and listening to the results, he says, do you have any idea what you're saying? And he says, you're telling us that we're reducing the IQ of children. And basically I said yes.